In this video, we'll guide you through unpacking and preparing the Zortrax Inkspire 3D printer for first use. Open the box and remove the upper cushioning. Remove the UV cover. Remove the starter kit and the foam with the bottle of resin. Take out the FEP film. Take the printer out of the box. While you're doing this, never grab the printer by the Z-axis screw. Remove the foil. Move up the platform by gripping the platform block and pulling it upwards. Remove the cushioning from the resin tank. Place the printer on a flat and stable surface. If the printer remains uneven, use the plastic wrench from the starter kit to tighten or loosen the printer's legs. Remove the foil from the UV cover. Plug in the power cable and turn on the printer. Begin the calibration process. Select Tools, Calibration. Follow the instructions displayed on the screen. Pour a small amount of resin into the tank so that there is a thin layer of resin on the FEP film. Tap Next to confirm. Loosen the platform screw with an Allen key. Tap Next to continue. Hold the platform block in the places indicated in the video and tighten the platform screw. Make sure that the platform properly adheres to the LCD screen. Tap Next to calibrate the platform offset. Make sure that you've got enough resin in the tank for your first print. The resin level must fit the min and max marks. Install the UV cover back on the printer. Once the printing process is finished, wait until the resin fully drains off of the model. Remove the platform. Pour isopropyl alcohol into the ultrasonic cleaner and put the platform with the model in the device. Turn on the device. Cleaning time shouldn't exceed three minutes. Turn off the ultrasonic cleaner and remove the platform with the model. Leave the platform with the model to air dry. Remove the model from the platform by hand or use a spatula or a cutting knife. Remove the raft and support structures from the model. Put the model in the UV station or in any source of UV light, such as direct sunlight. Unscrew the two screws that secure the resin tank and remove them. Next, remove the resin tank. Insert the resin filter into the silicone funnel and put them together in the bottle with resin. Pour the resin left in the tank through the filter and funnel. If it's necessary, use a plastic spatula. Clean the resin tank with a paper towel. You can also use 99% isopropyl alcohol for that purpose. Install the resin tank back in its place and secure it with the screws.